The Warriors jumped up 3-0 on the Mavs. Steph Curry, of course, leading the way. Luka then did what superstars do. Doncic got his team at least the one game with his fifth straight 30-point performance when facing elimination. And now the series heads back to the Bay. Golden State is a seven-point favorite, which is the largest margin they've been favored by in this series. Warriors are one win away from their sixth finals appearance since 2015. And I'd like to welcome in now Kendra Andrews covering the Warriors live from the Bay Area. Kendra, what do the Warriors need to do tonight to close the series out at home? Yeah, Max, the Warriors have to make sure that this Game 5 is about their style and how they play basketball. Heading into Game 4, someone from the Warriors' front office told me that they thought that game was going to be determined more by how Dallas played, who was trying to avoid getting swept, and that's exactly what happened, right? Dallas came out, they established themselves on offense really early on, and from there, everything snowballed for the Warriors. An assistant coach told ESPN after the game, after Dallas started hitting shots, we didn't even guard anyone. So heading into tonight, the Warriors have to make sure that they set the tone and the pace on both offense and defense and if they do that they feel good about their odds of closing out this series at Chase Center where they're undefeated in the postseason. Not to mention if role players have a tough time on the road and that's what Dallas has outside of Luka. Good luck. Thank you Kendra as always. If you were to call most guys I know half man it would be an insult unless of course the other half was amazing. Welcome Vince Carter. How should the Warriors prepare themselves yes, for <laughs> How should they pre prepare themselves? Uh, well, first and foremost, I think, uh, uh, you know, avoiding the 3-1 bad play of uh, versus the Cleveland Cavaliers, first and foremost. You know, you know for them, they had th that situation where I think they were comfortable, knew they were in the driver's seat and in control and had some slippage. And they don't want that to creep into their minds, which I'm, a, I'm sure they don't. And you wanted to close out Dallas and Dallas, but the thing they don't want now is to go back to Dallas. So I think right now they have to hit, have a hit first mentality. Kids have said it before, the, the team that is the, the aggressor has been the team that has taken control of the game each, each night that we've seen, whether it's been on the East and the West. So for the Golden State Warriors, they need that hit first mentality. They need that, that fourth quarter, that second half clay to be there in the first half to take care of business, to kind of knock out the Dallas Mavericks. If not, this can get dicey. Is it an unfair characterization for me to, like, I <clears> noticed <throat> this entire Warriors era to me seems like they have kind of a bully's mentality. When the other team has no shot, boy, they show up and just put their, their foot on their throats, right? It's when LeBron shows up with Kyrie and Kevin Love, <laughs> and then all of a sudden they start to get tight, right? But Dallas just has Luka and a bunch of role players. Doesn't that mean that Golden State should be very comfortable right now? You're right. You're right. Comfortable, I don't know. But you're right. You look at the, the roster, you say, okay, you can't compare them to the Cleveland Cavaliers. Yes. But at the same time, confidence is a mother, man. When, when guys can go in there feeling good about themselves, especially look at what how, how they played. On, uh, obviously, it was at home. But look at how they played at home. They went from... The, the, the others went from not making shots to making shots and making the game easier for Luka because Luka was able to empower his guys and give them the opportunity to get in a rhythm. And if mm -hmm. they figure that out, you know what they're going to do. They're going to try to attack Steph on the defensive end. They're going to try to make him guard, guard with multiple efforts and get into his legs. All the things that they found, this, the, the piece of success in Dallas, they're going to try to bring home. So how can the Golden State avoid that is the question. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.